All right, my dear friends, now comes the most important part of our discussion. All these bitwise operators that we learned about. What is the use? How are we going to use them to solve really cool and challenging questions in an efficient way as the bigger and larger problem? For that, again, few more prerequisites about using bitwise operators you must understand, okay? See, let us assume I have a binary number like this. Now, you must understand something. First thing is, whenever I see a 1, right, I'm highlighting all the 1s. Now, I will always say 1 means the bits are on. Wherever I say 0, I will say that the bits are off. I hope you're able to think. So, 1 means on, 0 means off. That is what I am also showing you. Any confusions here? So, 1 means on, 0 means off. Now, there will come questions where you will have to switch on a bit which is off. You will have to switch off a bit which is on. All these kinds of different questions will come. Now, where will we be using them? We will see everything step by step I will teach you. But such things also can happen. So, how are we going to do this is the question. Okay, let's begin. Now, guys, please understand. If in case you want to switch a bit which is off and make it on, right? If you want to switch on a bit, you must make use of the OR bitwise operator. OR bitwise operator is always used to switch on bits. Now, you must be wondering how, how does this work? Let me show you. I'm bringing the binary number to my right side. I'm bringing the binary number to my left side. Now, you must understand. I'm also bringing the truth table of OR there for your reference, okay? Now, look at this, guys. What I will do is, this is my binary number, right? Now, below that, I'm going to place all zeros. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do OR operation between this binary number and these zeros. I'm going to do OR operation between them. Now, tell me, if I do OR operation, looking at the truth table, tell me, if any bit, whether it is 0 or 1, if I do OR operation with 0, will it change the bit? Will it change the bit? Because 0 or 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 1 only, right? So, basically, if you notice, 0 has no effect on the original bit if applied. If you notice, if I do OR operations, it will be 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, which is nothing but the same. So tell me, when I did OR operation on every bit with 0, did it change? No, it was, it came back to the original, which means I have an observation to make, which is 0 has no effect on the bits. 0 has no effects on the bit. I hope you're able to think. However, look at this side. Now I'm going to perform OR operation only, but it is all 1s, it is all 1s. Now, if you look at the truth table, 1 is not like 0. 1 certainly has an effect. Whenever, wherever it is 0, if in case I do OR with 1, definitely 0 or 1 is 1. Which means, would you agree that all zeros will become 1 and 1 or 1 is anyways 1 only? Which means one critical observation I've made here, that if I do OR operation, on bits which are off, off means 0, with 1, they become on or they become 1. So, wouldn't you agree, all off bits are turned on if in case I do with uh, 1. So, clearly these two observations is very, very helpful that zeros has no effect, 1 will switch on the bits which are off. Now, these are critical observations for you to understand how to use the op OR operator to switch on the bits, okay? Now that you understood this, let's start with a question. Now, the question is very simple. The question is, to switch on the ith bit, to switch on the ith bit. Now, what do you mean? I'm just bringing uh, the binary number in front of me. Now, if in case I give the positional values, it is 0th bit, 1st bit, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5, 6, and 7. I hope you're able to think. Now, let us assume ith bit is 3. 3 is the value of i. So, I am bringing i on top of 3. Look at the ith bit. Is it on or off? 0 means it's off. Now, the question is saying, I'll give you a value of i. You should switch on the ith bit. If it is off, it must become on. If it is already on, it should not change. I hope you're able to think. Now, tell me, we have two bits with us, 0 and 1. 
Tell me which of these bits you will use if in case you want to turn on that zero. Clearly anyone with eyes will tell sir it is one. What do you mean you may ask. Listen, below that zero I am just putting a one. I am just putting a one. And what I am doing is OR operation. Tell me zero or one. What will happen? One. So would you agree zero has now become one. If zero has become one would you say from off it has gone on. Our question says that we must only switch on the ith bit which means all the bits to the right of i and to the left of i must remain unchanged, must remain unchanged, right? Which means if I have to do OR operation on the other bits, tell me should I use 0 or 1? Think carefully, the, there must be no effect, there must be no effect on the bits, it should remain the same. So will I use 0 or 1? Anyone with eyes will say sir you have to make use of 0 because that is the observation we made previously which means look. To the left of 1 I will place all zeros, to the right of 1 I will place all zeros. Now if I apply OR operation then all the bits will remain the same. All the bits will remain the same. I hope you are able to think. All the bits will remain the same. So now I hope you are able to understand that if I did OR operation on the bit with this, this particular binary number the ith bit has now turned on, the ith bit has turned on. I hope you are able to think. Great. Now the question is this binary number which is 00001000 this is what I use to perform our operation, right? How are we going to create this? First and foremost this binary number which you used to switch on the ith bit is called as your mask. Creation of mass is a very very important concept you must grasp if bit manipulations must become clear to you. Now you must be wondering how do I create this mass where exactly at the ith position the one everywhere else is zero. Very simple. Watch it. What I will do is I will take one value one. Let us assume one is the value. One in binary I am representing. It is nothing but seven zeros and a one in the uh, in the end. I hope you are able to think. I am putting the position of the bits also 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, lateral 7. Okay. Now 1, that 1 you want it to come at the ith position. So what is the ith position? 3. Which means how many times should shifting happen? 1, 2, 3 times. Would you agree with me? It should shift 3 times. Or can you, can in another way can I say i times it should shift? So watch it. If I tell hey 1 right or left shift by i. I can be 1, I can be 2, I can be 3. Whatever is the bit position that is the value of i. If I do that 3 times shifting will happen which means that uh, at the other end that first 0 will go, second 0 will go, third 0 will go because you are right shifting. Obviously everything will move once uh, position to the left and you will see that automatically 1 will come at the right position or at the third position which is the value of i. Any confusion till here? So all you have to do is to get your mask take create one and then left shift the one how many ever times you need or i times to bring one at the right position. Now that you got the mask take the mask do or operation with the original number and then you will get the required answer. Any confusion till this point of time beautiful. Shall we go write code for this? Watch it guys. I will just uh, create one integer variable n. If you want you can take input from the keyboard but I am just giving it directly a value 36. Because uh, if you notice this was the binary number that we used and if you convert 36 to binary this is what you will get. Of course there will be 4 other bytes which will be all zeros because it is an integer but it does not matter. Anyways, so now what we will uh, basically be doing is we will also have to give an i value, ith bit right. So I will just tell int i. And I will make that i as maybe 3. Hmm? So the third bit has to be switched on. Uh, now what I am going to do is I will come down and uh, if in case I now, uh, our first mask is important. So I will just tell int and I will tell on mask like this because this is a mask which is being used to switch it on. Alright and you know how do you create the mask? You know the i value so you take 1 right left shift it 3 times automatically 1 will come to the third bit. I hope you are able to think or not the third bit actually the fourth bit right great. Any confusion till this point of time? 
Now what you have to do is you have to now do OR operation between N and the mask. If you do OR operation automatically that bit will be turned on. So I am just going there and if in case I uh, tell uh, system.out.println indirectly and I will just tell N OR uh, mask. Then watch it. This is the N value in binary. This is the mask. If I do OR operation, the third bit is going to go from 0 to 1, rest are going to be the same. Now this, if in case I apply the powers of 2 and if in case I convert it into decimal, that is the value that I am going to get. Really, is that the value we will get? Let us execute and check. 44. Perfectly it works. Any confusion till this point of time? So I hope you understood how to set an ith bit on. I hope you are able to understand. And whenever you want to do switching on, you have to make use of OR and a mask. How to create the mask also, I hope all of you understood. Alright, now I am just bringing my binary number in front of me. Now let us assume the ith bit this time is 5. Tell me is it on or is it off? It is on. Now my question is going to ask me to switch off the ith bit. Switch off the ith bit. I hope you are able to think. So how will I do it? Very simple. You now know that you require mask. Okay. You also know that it is the AND operation that you need to perform. Now I am just focusing on the ith bit which is 1. Now tell me if it is 1 and it has to become 0 and if I have to do AND operation, what should be the other operand? It has to be 0 because 1 and 0 is 0. I hope you are able to think. But none of the other bits must change friends. Now tell me when you are doing AND, which is the bit which has no effect? The bit which has no effect is always 1 which means left side everything should be 1, right side everything should be 1 and that is what I am doing. And if I do AND, every other bit will be the same. And you can see the ith bit which is the bit at the fifth position from 1 has become 0, everything else is the same. So successfully you have done it. So now the question is you need this mask. How are you going to get this mask? Simple. Listen, take 1. This is 1 in binary, right? I want that 1 to first come to the fifth uh, position. So how will you do it? I will tell 1 left shifted by i positions. So obviously that shifting will happen. 1 is going to come to the fifth position. But now 1 is at the fifth position, rest all is 0. But if you notice that 1 should become 0 and everything else should become 1 which means flipping must happen. How do you flip the bits? You have the complement or the negation bitwise operator and that is what. I'll put this within parenthesis and tell negation which means after shifting bit flips will happen and all 1s will become zeros and all zeros will become 1s. I hope you are able to think. You found your mask, then take that mask and perform AND operation with N. That's it, you will get your number. How do we write code? Let's check it out. I have N value, I have I value. First thing is I need my mask, right? So I'll just create it. So I'll tell int, it is off mask. I hope you're able to think. Uh, now what I want to do is, or uh, yeah, it is off mask. And now off mask, how will you generate? One left shifted by i positions after which negate it or complement it. Any confusion till here? This will give you the mask. I hope you are able to think. Now what I will do is system.out.println and I will just do AND operation between n and my mask. Cool. Now just to show you, this is n, this is the off mask. If you perform AND operation, that is the value that you get. Ultimately, if you convert it into decimal, this is the value that you get. Will we get that value? Let's check it out. 4. Perfectly it works. Any confusion till this point of time? So I hope if someone asks you how to switch off a particular bit, also you know how to do it. Well, this is not the only operations we have to learn. There is few more. What is that? Let me show you. Guys now please understand, I want to do an operation called as toggle which again we will be using in many of the programs that we will be doing. Okay. Now what is this toggle operation? Toggle means, let us assume I have a bit 0. If I toggle 0, it will become 1. So it is just flipping the bit. 
If I toggle one, it will become zero. How are you able to think? This is the meaning of toggle, right? Now, how are we going to do toggle? And which of the bitwise operators will help us? I'm not going to tell you the operator first. Let's just use some common sense. This is the binary number that I have. Those are the position of the bits, right? Let us assume that ith bit, which is 5, I want to toggle it, which means right now it is 1. If I toggle it, it will become 0. Now, how will I do it? Very simple. You need a mask. By now, I think everybody knows that. In the mask, only that bit I'm talking about. See, I will make that bit as 1. Now you may ask, why did I make it as 1? Because if I use a certain bitwise operator, toggling it will take care of. What do you mean, you may ask? The operator is XOR. And I hope all of you know XOR, the symbol is caret, right? I'm bringing the truth table of XOR in front of you. If you look at XOR, what is interesting is, whenever the bits are the same, the result is always 0. Whenever the bits are different, the result is 1. And don't you agree that is exactly what I'm looking for? See, 1 and 1, 1 x or 1, bits are same. So what will I get? 0. How are you able to think? Toggling happened. Okay, I'll remove that 0. Let us assume that bit was not 1, it was 0. So now 0 x or 1, bits are different. If bits are different, what is the result? 1. So toggling happened, 0 became 1. Okay, I'll remove that also. I'll bring it back so it is one. So would all of you agree that it is XOR operation that we must be doing? So naturally, none of the other bits must be affected. So what will we do? Should it become zero or should it become one? If you look at the truth table, clearly you can see whenever uh, the bits are the same, then it is going to be uh, zero. I hope you're able to think, right? So what I'm doing is I'll make all of them zeros, zeros on the left side, zeros on the right side. Hmm? So this is my mask. This is the mask that I need. And if I apply XOR operation, everything remains the same, but the bits uh, uh, toggling would have happened. I hope you're able to think. Great. Now, how do you come up with this mask? Very simple. I need a mask where left side of the mask, right side of the left side of the bit uh, that we are trying to change, left and right should all be zeros, right? Simple. Take one, represent one in binary. One is at the zeroth position. You must take it to the ith position to the left side. So obviously left shift. So one left shift by i position. So see, it is shifting. This is exactly what I want. This is exactly what I want, right? That's my mask. Take that mask. Take your n value, perform XOR, toggling will be performed. Really, will this happen? Let's write some code and explore. Now guys, n is 36, i is 5. Let's create the mask. So I'll just call this as int uh, t mask, toggle mask. Okay. Now that is nothing but 1 right shifted by or left shifted by i times. Cool. Next I'll just tell this out. I'm going to do XOR between my number and my mask. Number and my mask. Any confusion till here? Now, how will this work? This is N in binary. This is the toggle mask. If you put XOR, you can see the ith bit gets toggled. Everything else remains the same. Amazing. Let's quickly go and execute it. And of course, if I convert it into decimal, this is the number which I should be getting. Will we get it? Let's check it out. Four. Perfectly it works. Any confusion till this point of time? Great. Now, what else you may ask? There is one last operation remaining. What is that? Let me show you. Now, the last and final operation which you must and should know, which will help you write really efficient code for complicated programs is the check on or off operation. Now, we switched off a bit, we switched on a bit, we toggled a bit. Now, we're not doing anything to the bit. We're just checking its state, whether it is on or whether it is off. Now, how can one go about doing this? Simple. Let us assume this is a binary number. Let us assume the bit in question here is the ith bit, which is at position 5. Now, as of now, it is 0, which means is it on or off? Naturally, it is off, right? Now, how do you check it? Very simple. The operation here is AND. How will AND operation help me? Very simple. All of you know you need a mask, so I'm showing the mask. In the mask, the, the, for that bit, whether, to check whether it is on or off, I will be making use of 1. So it is going to be 1. Now you must be wondering why. Because see, very simple. 0 and 1, if I do, what will you get? 0. Because only 1 and 1 is 1. Everything else is 0. I hope you're able to think. So I got 0. 
Now what I will do is, I want all other bits, I want all other bits upon performing AND operation to become 0. I want all other bits upon doing AND operation to become 0. If that is my expectation, then what I will do is, all the bits to the left and right of that one, I will make it as 0. Because AND operation performed with any bit and 0 is 0. How are we able to think? 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0. Which means don't you think the final result will be, this was a case where the bit in question was off or 0. Okay. Now when I did this, see the final result. The final result of N and the mask is all zeros. All zeros, if I convert it into decimal, is also 0 only, is also 0 only. Great. Now, let us assume, I'll take another example. That is my binary uh, number and the ith position bit is on. Ith position bit is on, so it is 1. Now see how beautifully it will work. Same mask I will use and I will perform AND operation. If I perform AND operation, then 1 AND 1 is 1. Everything else will become 0. Everything else will become 0. So clearly you can notice one thing, one major difference between the first result and the second result. The first result evaluates itself to be 0. The second result evaluates itself to be non-zero. We can say it like that. Which means very simple. To check whether a given bit is on or off, I'll just do this. I will tell if in case n and mask, if it is equal to zero, yes, see, if it is equal to zero, I will print that it is off. Otherwise, I will tell it is on. How are we able to think? Simple, isn't it? See, there it was off. So when I did AND operation between n and mask, I got 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 in binary. If you convert it to decimal, it's 0. Right? Otherwise, it is non-zero, which means I'll print on. Simple, simple. Would all of you agree? Really, will this work as code? Let's explore. Let's start coding. Simple. First, I need my mask, guys. So I'm just creating my mask. I will tell int. I'll call it as C mask or check mask, right? Hmm. Now, how will you generate this C mask? It's very simple. Uh, I'm just showing you. This is n. This is the mask. If you look at it, the ith position bit must be 1, everything else must be 0, which is nothing but start with 1 and do left shift operation i times. If you do left shift operation i times, obviously you are going to get that mask. By now everybody has understood this. I don't have to keep repeating. Beautiful. Now all we have to do is check if in case, right, n and check mask. If the decimal value is 0, then it means that it was off. That's what I will do. I will tell sys out off. Of course, you have to put brackets because precedence. Yeah. I'll just go and I will tell sys out zero. I mean off. Right? Then else, if it is non zero, it means it was on. That's it. Simple, simple. Now, uh, let us see whether it works. If in case I execute it, then uh, for this 36 value, you know the I fifth position bit is on. So I should be getting on correctly. It has worked. Any confusion till this point of time? Obviously, you can give other values and check. It will work for off as well. Anyways, so I hope these operations, which is check if off, check if on, right, is clear to all of you and how to do it is clear. Now that you have understood how to on a bit, off a bit, toggle a bit, check whether it is on or off. Now using all this knowledge, how you can be writing amazing code which will impress the interviewer is what we have to do next. Stay tuned, practice, stay motivated and I will catch you in the next class.